How the Borks Became, An Adventure in Evolution, written by me, Jonathan Emmett, and illustrated by Ellie Dolan. Let's take a look inside this book. On a faraway planet, quite like our own Earth, a bunch of Bork mothers has just given birth to a great brood of Borklings in all shapes and sizes. Some look like their parents, but some are surprises. The thing about Borks is no two are a match. They're all a bit different. Just look at this batch. These odd little differences help the Borks thrive. Without them, it's doubtful they'd still be alive. You see, Borks haven't always looked as they do. Their fur was once short, and its colour was blue. And those long, skinny necks that make them so tall were once very squat and not skinny at all. This might start you wondering, wondering... How? How did the Borks become what they are now? What caused all these changes? What brought them about? Well, we'll have to go back a few years to find out. On a faraway planet, quite like our own Earth, a bunch of Bork mothers had just given birth to a great brood of Borklings in all shapes and sizes. Some looked like their parents but some were surprises. While most of the Borklings had fur that was short, there were also a few of a shaggier sort. These shaggy-furred Borklings, they looked kind of funny and got rather hot when the weather was sunny. But later that year, when the weather turned chilly, the shaggy-furred Borks did not feel quite so silly. While the shorter-furred Borks couldn't cope with the storm, their shaggy-furred cousins kept perfectly warm. And when the storm stopped and a new day arrived, only the shaggy-furred Borks had survived. So the next time a big Borkling birthing occurred, all of the babies were born shaggy-furred. While most of these offspring were bright shades of blue, some were bright yellow, but only a few. These bright yellow Borklings looked rather bizarre and weren't very easy to spot from afar, as their fur blended in with the bright yellow moss, which covered the plain that the Borks roamed across. They were roaming this plain on a hot sunny day when a ravenous snarfle came flying their way. Now, there's nothing a snarfle likes more for its lunch than a beak full of borks. So it snatched up a bunch. It gobbled up every last bork it could find, every last one, but it left some behind. The big beastly bird would have gobbled the lot, but the bright yellow borks had been too hard to spot. And so, when the next batch of babies came through, all of the offspring were yellow, not blue. But while most of these borklings had necks that were squat, there were also a few who had necks that were not these skinny-necked Borklings looked rather absurd with their heads towering over the rest of the herd. But later that year, when the weather grew dry, these tall Borks were glad to have heads up so high. For without any rain, the moss shriveled up dead, and moss was the food on which every Bork fed. So with nothing to eat, many Borks died off too almost all of the herd, except for a few. For the skinny-necked Borks, things were not quite so dire, because thanks to those necks, they could reach a bit higher and feed on the branches of jujubong trees, which held lots of water within their thick leaves. 
So we're back where we started. But now you know how. You know how the Borks became what they are now. And if anyone asks how this mystery is solved, you can tell them the answer. They simply evolved. It's truly remarkable, wondrous and strange how through evolution a creature can change. Evolution explains many other things too. It even explains just how you became you. Evolution on Earth Evolution is a scientific theory that explains how animals and plants can gradually change over time. Evolution happens very quickly on the Bork's planet and there are big changes each time the Borks have babies. For Earth animals, the changes are usually much smaller and not so easy to spot. Because Earth animals only change a tiny bit at a time, they take much longer to evolve. It might take an Earth animal millions of years to change as much as the Borks in the story do.